all functions are relations, but not all relations are functions. If you want to know more, keep on watching. Good day everyone, it's me, Sir John. In this video, I'm going to discuss one of the most important concepts in mathematics that every student should know, especially the grade 11 students, which is the relations and functions. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to first define what is relations and functions and illustrate a function using mapping diagram, sets, and graph. Without further ado, let's begin. Again, Welcome to our class. This is General Mathematics for Senior High School and our topic for today is all about functions and relations. Before we proceed, let us review some of the important words which are related to our topic. And these are ordered pair, domain, and range. We define ordered pair as a composition of x and y coordinate having two values written in a fixed order within parentheses. These are what we call ordered pairs, and each parenthesis meron tayong dalawang numbers separated by a comma. Yung unang number ay x value, and yung second number naman ay ang tinatawag nating y value. Domain is the first element in the ordered pair. Ibig sabihin, mga x values. And base example natin, the domains are 2, negative 1, and 4. So for the range, it is the second element in the ordered pair, known as the y value. In our example, the range are 0, 3, and 4. Alright? When we say functions, it is a special kind of relations. Bakit? Because it follows a certain rule where each element in x value must be associated with only one y value. Lahat ng ordered pairs ay relations and we can only consider it as a function kapag ang x value meron lang siyang iisang y value. Again, I just want to reiterate, yung x value natin must have only one y value. Para mas maintindihan natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin nito, we can illustrate function using mapping diagram, sets, and graph. Okay, let's talk about the mapping diagram. These numbers represent the domain which are mapped to a specific range. Take a closer look as you can see that 1 is mapped with A whereas 2 mapped with B. So yung 3 is mapped to C, while 4 with D. Thus, this diagram illustrates a one-to-one -one correspondence where each element in the domain is associated with exactly one Y value. That's why this diagram illustrates a function because it satisfies the condition that each element in X value must be associated with only one Y value. I hope that makes sense. Let's have the next diagram. What do you think? If function ang sagot mo, you are correct. Why? Let's see. Negative 1 is mapped with 4. 0 corresponds to 2. 1 also corresponds to 2. And yung 3 natin with 6. Actually, we don't have any problem kahit magkaroon ng repetition for the y value. As long as unique ang x value natin, it is considered as a function. This example illustrates a many-to-one correspondence that what makes it a function. Take note, functions can be one-to-one -one or many-to-one correspondence. What about example number 3? Correct! This is not a function. Why? Simply because the domain, which is 0, mapped with two y values, which are 3 and 5. Since this diagram illustrates one to many correspondence, 
which doesn't satisfy the condition of a function. That's it for the mapping diagram. Now let's proceed with the sets. So we have sets of ordered pairs and para ma-determine natin if this represents a function or not, we just have to identify lahat ng x values. Titignan lang natin ang first number for each parenthesis. In this example, yung domain natin ay 2, 1, negative 5, 4, and 6. Since the domain are uniquely defined, so this is a function. For the example number 2, again, identify natin ang x values. We have 3, negative 2, 1, 1, and 0. Since naulit ang 1, therefore, this is not a function. Ganun lang siya kadali. That's it for the sets. Now, let's have the last, which is through graphing. We have a graph here represented by the red line. We can easily identify if this graph is a function or not using a what we call vertical line test. A graph represents a function if and only if each vertical line intersects the graph at most once. What does it mean? Take a closer look to our graph. This yellow line represents the vertical line. Kahit saan natin siya ilagay or kahit extend natin siya, it will only intersect the graph ng minsan lang. Basically, this graph represents a function. For the second graph, what do you think? That's correct. This is a function, again, kahit saan natin dalhin ang vertical line, it will only intersect the graph once. Yun lang naman kasi yung condition natin. What about the third graph? If your answer is not a function, you are correct. Why? Because as you can see in the vertical line, na-intersect niya ang graph three times. Ganun lang kadali mag-identify ng function through graph. Again, using a vertical line test. So what are the things you have to remember? First, in mapping diagram, function siya kapag one-to-one -one or many-to-one correspondence. In sets naman, dapat walang repetition ng x values. Kailangan uniquely defined yung ating domain. And for the graph, just use the vertical line test. Otherwise, it is not a function or it's just a relation. So on sa quotation na All functions are relations but not all relations are functions. Everything naman kasi considered as a relation. Kasi sa relation, wala namang rules na kailangang i-follow at walang condition na kailangang masatisfy. Whereas the functions, this is a special kind of relations na kung saan merong mga rules, merong mga conditions na kailangang i-follow. Yun lang naman yung ibig sabihin ng quotation na yun. I hope I was able to give justice through this lesson. Again, I am Sir John. See you sa susunod nating video lessons. So have a great day everyone and thank you for listening.